Now we'll, we'll get into our, our final topic for today. We'll start talking about windows. And again, uh, air leaks and heat can transfer through windows, uh, among other areas, as we've discussed previously. But I'll just briefly take uh, just a couple minutes to touch on conservation, low cost uh, ways to save on energy uh, so that you don't have heat going through your window. We'll look at some efficiency ratings and some of the economics for that as well. So. Um, as we dive into this, kind of share that thermal image uh, taken from an energy audit there, you can see uh, that before these windows, uh, efficient windows were installed, you had a lot of heat loss through them, and then they had EPA uh, certified windows installed, Energy Star uh, windows installed, and, and you know, have less heat loss. Um, there's a lot of different studies out there that have reported uh, different amounts of heat loss. I, I don't want to get caught up on, on uh, the specifics of that, but in any sense, you could lose quite a bit of energy. Some say more energy is lost in the summer uh, through windows. Um, some have pretty high estimates of, of window loss in the winter as well. Um, but regardless, you lo you're losing quite a bit of energy through windows, depending on what type of windows you have and how efficient they are. So we'll start by just looking at a couple window treatments you can put in place uh, into place for for very little uh, money awnings on the outside of your house, especially in the summer, is going to block the solar heat gain on the south and west side of your house and put those over the windows and that'll, that'll improve significantly. Um, I'm not going to go into details on all these, uh, but as you can imagine, blinds and draperies uh, provide um, benefits against solar heat gain. Um, you want to close those during the day. You want to prevent heat from uh, coming in in the summer. Um, now you want, might want some heat to come through your windows in the winter, um, so you can just um, uh, use those, um, you know, open those in the winter, you can close those in the summer. Um, there's those kind of benefits, shades, uh, shutters as well. There are uh, interior shutters. I've had uh, one in my kitchen uh, primarily for aesthetics. It does provide some benefit um, um, in the summer, but uh, most of those exterior uh, shutters provide protection from the elements and, and from some of that temperature. So those are some low cost uh, and they do have uh, significant energy savings depending on where you locate them in the house and how they're operated. Storm windows are another common uh, uh, improvement, uh, low cost improvement that you can implement. You can do it on some of the critical windows in your, in your home that you might want to see improvements on. Um, you could do it uh, with, with a a custom or store-bought uh, system, or you could uh, put your own system together uh, with cardboard and wood frame and plastic wrap, um, a, a number of different options to work there, depending on how handy you are. Um, there, there are plexiglass and acrylic and other technologies out there, but the basic idea is that uh, you, you put those storm windows either on the outside or on the inside of your window to provide extra protection and insulation. So you're not gonna have uh, as much air leakage and um, if they have other benefits there in terms of uh, blocking solar heat gain and other factors. So that might be something to look into. There's some low cost options out there depending on how involved you are uh, with that. Uh, I'm not gonna have time to get into all the details. Uh, there, there's some additional tips here. Again, this information will be posted online. So um, you can go to the website later and check that out. Um, some of the things, if you're looking at uh, uh, more investment in replacing some of the windows in your home or all of the windows in your home, um, you know, you, you might see issues with high energy bills. That could be a number of things, but uh, it may be pinpointed to the windows. Um, it, it is an improvement that you can make to your house to save on money. Um, if you see condensation on the windows, especially those old single pane windows, you'll have more of that. Uh, more efficient windows will block the outside noise. Um, if your window is getting hard to open and close, um, it may be time for replacement. So that's another factor um, and to stop those drafts from coming indoors. So those are some of the things to be on the lookout for. Um, when we look at some of the newer energy efficient windows, you'll look at the different frame material. And when you look at the heat transfer through the window, we'll talk about the U-factor. U-factor takes into account not only the glass, but also the frame that it's in. And you'll look for durability and equipment, whether it's a wood frame or fiberglass. Um, you can look at that on your own. I'm not going to get into the details on that, but multiple panes would be better. Single pane window is not very efficient. Double to triple would be better. And they'll fill those with different gases, uh, uh, most commonly argon, krypton, and xenon filled 
uh, panes and that stops heat transfer. You have that pocket, uh, air pocket, not air pocket, it's a, it's a gas um, in between the panes and that'll stop heat transfer. And they'll use that edge spacer, make sure you get a good edge, edge spacer to keep those um, panes separated. And then we'll talk about low E coatings as well um, to control the solar heat gain and the U factor. So when you're actually at the store looking at it, you can use uh, this, um, this uh, tag here. This is the uh, NFRC, that's a National Fenestration Rating Council. So they'll have the certification label on the product. Um, U factor is uh, how well it holds heat inside in the winter. Okay, so the lower that, the, the lower the U factor, the more efficient it is. So if you remember with insulation, we're, we're talking about R values with insulation, this is the exact opposite. With insulation, we want big R values. With U factor and windows, we want low values for U factor. And that's just because it's one divided by R. It's a recipro reciprocal of R. So low U values are better. Uh, visible transmittance was the question I asked a few minutes ago about how much light comes through. Um, and, and so with higher numbers, have more light coming through. And so sometimes you do get a more efficient window and it doesn't let as much light through, uh, but it's a trade-off. Uh, but, but you can always find products that do allow that. Solar heat gain um, is the ability to block the solar heat. And so that's very critical as well. With this, the lower the number, uh, the better. So the lower value uh, blocks more heat. And then air leakage is optional, but it's often included somewhere and you want a value less than 0.3. And we'll talk about that as well. Um, recommended values, again, based on climate zones. Uh, we're here, most of Maryland, again, in that north central yellow region. Um, there are, you know, in Garrett County and out western Maryland, it's uh, uh, different factors. But here's some recommendations for U-factor and solar heat gain, given they're less than 0.4 for solar heat gain, less than 0.32 for the U-factors recommended. Um, and so you can check your windows and uh, when you're looking to purchase windows. And again, the, the air leakage rate should be 0.3 cubic feet per minute or less. Okay. <clears throat> Window cost, um, I'll say you can pull up the uh, assessment here. This is from the, the, the map and the Energy Star City Savings Estimates. That's from the NFRC website or from the Energy Star website. You can get a report on this. It's city by city. And it talks about some of the savings with Energy Star approved. Um, I pulled out some cities here from Pennsylvania, uh, Baltimore, Maryland. You see energy savings, whether you're replacing a single or a double pane Energy Star window, there's savings with that. The example I've given at the bottom of that table um, I won't go through it in detail, just mention quickly, because uh, I think I am over on time already, but uh, if you want to run through that, you can look at the price for um, any windows. If you're pricing out, I've given three options for windows. There is an energy savings per window, and there is uh, an estimate there. Uh, this is estimate is for a new house that you, you might be building. If you're building a new house and considering window options, that would be covered into your mortgage payments uh, monthly. And so this kind of estimate gives you an idea. You can compare um, more energy efficient windows. They're gonna cost more upfront, but uh, they should save you on your heating and cooling bills. And so you can compare uh, your mortgage payments, what it's adding to your mortgage payments compared to uh, your energy savings. So um, I'll leave that as an example to go through on your own time. There are uh, some housing and weatherization programs not necessarily funding window replacements, but um, other um, heating and cooling issues. Uh, we've mentioned this in previous sessions, but um, I, I've included some resources here, one from the Maryland Department of Housing and Community Development. You can go to their uh, website and explore some of the programs they have, uh, energy audits, uh, repairs and upgrades for your home uh, for different systems there. They have the weatherization assistance program. Um, you can go through your county um, um, office as well. And I've included some uh, uh, additional references there that may be of help to you.